I'm polishing with my flex shaft alone, there's a few different tools that I like to use. And you can see here that I've got a variety of wheels and then a number of pins. The pins have been provided by uh, Eternal Tools today. They are based in the UK. Um, and these are great after you've got your, your pre-polish done and you need to get into some tighter spots. So what I like to do for larger surfaces first is to work through these. And the progression that you would go through these is going to be the white, black, blue, and pink. And each one gets successively finer. The white is great for removing surface scratches and dings and dents and things like that. Uh, you do need to be very careful. Make sure that you're always keeping your, your tool moving at all times. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a groove in your in your your piece and that's something that you obviously want to avoid and then as you go from uh, to the finer and the next finer and the next finer you're going to get a higher and higher polish now anytime you have any type of little swirls or uh, little tiny openings maybe you've done some piercing work or something like that then you're going to want to definitely move into the pins the pins go from brown blue gray red green and then what's called fawn and fawn is kind of a grayish green color and what that's going to allow you to do is the same thing as these except that you're going to be able to work in very small and fine areas the brown is very coarse for quick removal of material blue is coarse gray is medium for a pre-polish uh, the red is fine for a high shine green is extra fine for a super shine and the fawn is an ultra fine for more of a mirror finish. Now you'll see that on a few of these I've already sharpened the tips of those. Let's see if I can zoom in here for you just a little bit. Okay, and that allows me to get into some of the finer areas. All of these different wheels and pins can be resurfaced or uh, reshaped with just a normal file that you might have. So they're fairly easy to use and I'll show you really quickly. We'll go through the polishing wheels first and then I will go back and do some of the finer detail work with my polishing pins. One thing to note on these is that anytime you use these you want to make certain that you have good eye protection and a good dust mask. I also highly recommend that you wear an apron so that uh, when the particles from these wheels go flying you're not wearing it. So I'm just going to start by going over my entire piece. And you want to pay attention to any extra solder that you might have or any kind of uh, dings or nicks or even solder ghosts. Okay, from here you want to just make sure that you feel everything, see if you feel any sharp edges. Uh, if not, then go ahead, rinse this off, and you're ready to switch over to the black one and go through the next okay, step. So I'm going to repeat this with the black one. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and speed up the film on this a little bit so that you can see it, but don't have to wait for it. All right, you can see by my hands that there's a lot of this dust that gets removed uh, from the wheels themselves. And this is why you want to make certain that you are wearing a mask and some goggles and perhaps an apron. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of give this a once over, just make sure I have all the different surface scratches removed, anything like that. Wash this off and then we're ready to go to the blue wheel. Okay, so why should I bother to wash it off? Why can't I just go from one grit to the next? The reason for that is that you don't want to end up having some of these rougher grits get into the wheels of the finer grits because then you actually run the risk of adding extra surface scratches that you may not want as you're trying to polish them out. Okay, at this point I actually have a really good polish on this. Uh, I don't see surface scratches anymore, surface marks like that. Uh, we've got a pretty good shine and everything is kind of smoothed over. So it looks really nice. 
Um, and before I go to the pink one, which is going to give me my ultra fine polish, I'm going to start working with some of the little pins here in my little mandrel and go from there. Uh, the reason for that is because if I end up bumping onto the front face of this, then I only have to go back maybe with the blue wheel and not necessarily all the way back to the white. So, you know, you'll just kind of play with it and figure out what works best for you. But now I'm going to take some of these pins and polish inside some of the tighter areas that I'm not able to get into with some of my wheels. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and start with the gray, which is a medium. And it, this is going to be kind of a pre-polish. It removes surface or scratches and leaves a smooth surface. But so that I can get into these tight areas, I'm going to sharpen this a little. And I just have a normal file. This is just a bastard file, a fine one that I bought over at the hardware store. I'm just going to turn on my flex shaft, run it along really quickly, and just kind of get a nice point. So I've got kind of a pencil tip point on my tip right now. And let me zoom you in just a little bit, and I can kind of show you how I do some of the work here. So what I've got now, I've got my piece, and I'm just going to work it into the areas inside of the swirls. Just to kind of get in here and polish up any of the little areas that might not have gotten with our other wheels. Now I could do the whole surface with these, however, because it's such a small area that it covers, it's going to take much longer than going the route that I just did where I started with the wheels and then come back and do the detail with these points. So the polishing pins are a fantastic addition to your already used polishing methods. If you have like a bench polisher or even if you're using the little felt wheels on your flex shaft as it is. Because again, you're going to have a difficult time getting into some of these tighter spots and so these pins allow you to get into those areas. And just like my wheels, I'm going to go and work my way through the grits all the way down to that fawn where I'm left then with more of a mirror finish. Okay, so I'm now done with this gray one. And what I'm going to do is switch it out so that I've got the red one next. And that's going to be um, a fine one for my high shine. And again, I'm going to work through the green and the fawn to get through those. Okay, so now I have gone through and I've polished the inside of these with the different pins. And I need to go now back with my blue wheel and touch everything back up. You may have to go back to the black wheel, uh, and that's fine. But, you know, just look at your piece and see what you need to do. So I'm going to go back with my blue wheel, and then I'll go forward to the pink wheel, and we should be just about done. Okay, so now I'm ready to go on to the pink wheel and we'll be able to finish this up. Alright, so now I'm ready for the pink wheel. This actually feels a lot like a really hard pink eraser. So it's more of a rubbery wheel surface. Um, and again, that's just going to be a more fine grit and polish up a little bit better. Not sure if you can see the difference here between what I've done with the, the pink and down here with the blue, but there is a noticeable difference uh, on my end of things. There's a lot more shine, a lot smoother finish here than there is down here even. So it really is amazing what uh, these wheels do as far as the polish goes. All right, and there is my piece. So it's got a very high shine, very mirror polish type of finish on it. You can kind of see that here in the video. 
Uh, the only thing left for me now is to do my setting of my stone. I have a little uh, blue violet iolite that's or iolite that's going to go into there. And then I still need to do uh, my bail, which is actually going to be two different little hooks that hang here, and it will hang for the necklace on that point. Um, but other than that, we are done with the polishing aspect of that. Uh, again, just to kind of show you what we've used, we started off with a white wheel. Here we go. And then we moved to the black, progressed to the blue, and finally the pink and that's going to be for your wheels when it comes to doing the inside of your pieces you want to use the polishing pins and I started with a brown moved to a blue which is a coarse moved then to the gray from there we moved to the red which is still here in my pin and then uh, moved into a green and finally the fawn and that's also going to polish the inside details and I want to thank uh, Eternal Tools for sending me the polishing pins so that I could show you this demonstration today and even though the lighting is not great our piece is now finished we have a high polish on all surfaces both inside and out even in the swirls